Sustainability management seems to change all the time. It's like running a race and the rules are changing constantly while you are doing the race. And sometimes in this job I feel like not keeping on top of it. So over the years working in sustainability I came up with a standard approach that I use to basically conquer every topic that shows up. This helps me because this way I never have to start with a blank page. It is not rocket science, but I thought I might share it with you because maybe it works for you as well as it does for me. I call it the AirPacks method. And AirPacks is of course an acronym and it stands for the following steps. A stands for Ask the Experts. So I usually like to start a topic by asking some experts within the business about their opinion to the topic, about standard approaches, about customer requirements and about anything that might come into their mind. So this way I get quite a good understanding of how the business works in respect to this specific topic and about what I should be caring most or where I should be looking into. But who do I involve? Well, usually I ask people from different departments. Oftentimes it helps me to involve people, for example, from research and development, from legal can be very insightful, or basically everyone who's got customer contact and who might tell me a bit about customer expectations and so on. The next step would then be the I, investigate by desktop research. And I usually start this step after asking the experts just because if I have a better understanding of what's going on in the business, I know better where to look at in the desktop research. So for this phase, I usually look at anything that is available in the internet about the topic itself. I might also ask AI chatbots to get me some basic understanding. Of course, making sure not to disclose any confidential information about the company. For this step, I look at customer publications, at competitors, at their websites, at reports, and I try to find out as much as possible about this specific topic. And I also like to make simple word clouds out of the findings that I have. Here, for example, I'm showing you a word cloud that I made for specific companies in the construction sector. I also like to have a look at any documentation that is available regarding the topic. That could be, for example, safety data sheets or digital product passports, if it is about products. The next step would be the R step. Recheck with the experts. So any findings that I got from the desktop research, I like to recheck with internal experts in the company. And that could be the ones that I asked before. It could be others. And usually together we find a few more topics or a few more points of relevant topics. Also, sometimes in the past I asked into the whole company, for example via a survey, um, but always making sure that I disclose my findings at least in a um, very condensed way so that they can give feedback to that. The next step then is prioritize on highest impact and importance. Therefore, I first summarize all my findings of desktop research, ask the experts and the recheck with the experts so that I got a condensed version in the end. Then I have a look at that and prioritize based on the findings that I got. Usually I do some calculations for that where I often have to involve other experts from inside the company or that where I have to make some assumptions about topics. I will provide examples on how I calculate on the specific topics as soon as I explain them. So if you want to know more about that, please subscribe to the channel and I will keep you updated about any new videos. Then the last step is to execute. I first determine what are the next steps based on the prioritization step and I then draft it into the overall roadmap to see which actions to do, which um, initiatives to start and especially who I need to involve or who is in charge of these initiatives. As this is all a bit theoretical, why don't you watch this video to see how I implement this method in a new topic that I came across and to see how I usually approach that.